the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new watching, welcome as well. In this video, I'll be talking about full moon in Virgo. Let's find out what it is. And this full moon is happening on the 27th of February at midnight in Pacific time. So if you're in the Northern America, you'll be able to see it at the night sky. So let's find out what it is and how it can be reflected on our life on the planet Earth. So Virgo full moon has to do with your routines, productivity, your work and health. And every full moon represents a turning point. So uh, this is going to be a great time to readjust your plans and actually enjoy your hard work. This is a great time for administrative work, tasks, and health-related stuffs. If you're in the medical fields or service industry, uh, you're going to be able to see a lot of results and the finished products or services noticeable progress. This can bring you some sort of milestone. So as you can see here on this chart, uh, I'm going to help you decode this astrological chart. So the ruler of this Virgo full moon is Mercury and it's in the sign of Aquarius and it's right next to Jupiter and Saturn. So again, uh, we still have a lot of Aquarian vibes going on, but we can start feeling more relaxed and easygoing and we can also find it easy to daydream and escape the the day-to-day -day reality because now that we are having more focus on pisces with moon venus and neptune i'll get to it very soon but speaking of mercury you know mercury is right next to jupiter so your detailed plans or anything that requires your attentive attention attentive attention will need some adjustment and keep in mind that you may have a tendency to over exaggerate your plans visions and growth potentials at this moment it's important that you fill in the details and have a good balance between a, a realistic value and your desirable projection. And Mercury having a trine aspect to North Node, you can benefit a lot by researching, making connection with people in the same industry or your peers, colleagues, friends, and some kind of exchange. Learning new stuffs and skills possibly are going to benefit you a lot and moon is having a trine aspect with uranus and taurus so this shows that we have more emotional needs for independence as a collective we find it easier to express our emotions in a more authentic way you know there's no room for fakeness anymore truth will be valuable your earnest feelings are valuable. And Venus and Pisces having aspect to the moon, uh, it shows that your imagination, your creativity, your spiritual practices, and uh, your private time, your private space is going to help fulfill your emotional needs and actually improve your productivity. And again, depending on your own birth chart, this placement can be reflected differently. This information will be available for Patreon exclusive contents. So if you guys are interested in, join us. And other than that, uh, yeah, the more you 
allow yourself to be lost in your own imagination. It will actually help create a very pleasant experience because Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces. Yeah, this can be about artistic, creative endeavors. This could be as simple as some songs or films or even games that can touch your heart in some way, shape or form. It can illuminate you in a way because Uranus is aspecting the, the moon. You can suddenly be awakened to reality. It's like a aha moment and and this will help you realign your long-term visions, long-term goals in a way that brings you sustainable results. And if you're facing some decisions to make, look for what other people are doing. It's not about just imitating what other people are doing, but by engaging in the community, the groups that you belong to, you can start feeling more empathic connections with others and that is going to help you a lot. For example, this can be about researching the current events, trends, and at the time of full moon, Mars has a positive aspect to Pluto. So this indicates that a lot of us are not afraid of making a structural changes by taking action. We can pinpoint what it is that we want to transform in a significant way. This can be also a great time for healing your traumas. Yeah, technically we still have a stellium. We have five planets within 30 degrees uh, in the sign of Aquarius and Pisces. So whatever changes you are implementing during this period of time will require your high ideals. Allow yourself to be inspired and fill in the details. Don't be afraid of having big dreams. It can take some time, but it is possible. If you have been overthinking and overly attached to details or health issues or any challenges you have in your life, now is time to sit back and relax, learn to take a break and give it a room so that things can work out by itself. Now is the time to let divine force come into your play and let it happen, let it unfold. You need to step back and learn to let go and that's part of life lesson. But if you have been avoiding something, escaping into another reality through using some substances or just like numbing out some kind of pains you have, now is time to face it. Now is time to look into details and readjust your goals and and realistic plans. It is going to require some research, collecting information. Um, yeah, you will need to collect some information and and think about what you want. It does require quite a lot of mental work because Mercury is in Aquarius. Aquarius is a mental sign so is Virgo. But remember having Mars aspecting Pluto in a harmonious way, your action can obliterate any negative traumatic experience or even fear embedded in your subconsciousness. So it's a very fortunate time to start taking action while still considering the common goals, mutual goals with people you are affiliated with. If you're in the social media, this can be also really good. So that's about it. And if you want to look into your own birth chart, you know, I have a long list of words related to each zodiac sign. It has more than 1400 words. Take a look at it. The link is below in description. And I hope you I hope this is helpful and have a great month.
And you can also manifest a lot with this full moon. Write down your intentions. Be clear as possible. You know, Virgo rules detail. So be specific about your intentions. And this will help you manifest your visions. Have a great day. Bye.